Hi, this is Audrey again with part two of the video that we were going to do these belly band towers of these um, slidey slide out um, circle notebooks. And we were, I had just put in the first put the first hole um, in the uh, first pieces of paper when I stopped the video. So we're going to pick up from there. My camera is fine for doing longer videos, but YouTube is not very forgiving about, or uh, it's not really wanting to upload my videos when they're too long. So anyway, um, I am going to, I had these two, one's in Italian, one's in German. So, um, and I decided I was going to, I think I decided I was going to put this in the middle and then do these like this. Okay, so I'm ready to do this one. So I have my line here in the middle that I've faintly drawn so I know where the center of my um, belly band material, uh, I mean my belly band is. So um, I'm going to do, next I'm going to decide about where this one would hang. Now I um, remember I said I was going to, um, you have to keep space in mind because remember I did say that I was going to be doing probably putting something up here when I laid it on the page. So I'm gonna be putting this down a little bit lower. So all of the, all three of these will fit, but I can also put something up here um, when I go to attach the belly band to the journal page. Okay, so I'm going to put this one down. I'm gonna pick these up and I have, I punched out three for each of these. I don't want them to be too thick, like I said, but I do want this to be just something like really different. So um, let's see, I'm gonna put this here. Okay, now this is the part you have to keep in mind. I'm actually going to put this, even though I have not decorated this, I'm, I've decided that I'm gonna go ahead and put this, um, the brad, put a brad, it may not be the brad that I end up with, through this hole because um, I want to make sure that I'm spacing this correctly because spacing is going to be very important in this and I don't want to be putting holes all in my belly band. So let me just grab a brad. Okay, the, I have these little mini, mini brads. Here, I'm just gonna grab one. I'm not even gonna really think about the color at the moment. I just want it in my belly band so I can decide where I want the other two to go. So, if you put this through and just kind of get it where I want it real quick. Okay, there I go, I have this in. And see, if you put this in um, snug enough, these, you know, you won't know that this is pull out until you you know, have like this. So, all right. So, I'm going to want to take this. I have three of these. I'm going to do the top one next. Well, I'm going to do the bottom one. So, I'm going to do the bottom one first. I want to make sure I have enough space. Okay, so, here we go. I'm going to grab my crocodile. And I, once again, now I'm going to put my... Uh, I'm going to decide where I want my brad to go, about here, and I'm going to go ahead and put my hole in so I can see my line. Okay. So now I'm going to put this here, and I'm going to flip it over. Make sure that's exactly how I want it. Lining up in space here. Very important. Okay. That's in the center. This one's in the center. Okay. You may not be as picky as I am about everything being so so, but that's just I'm I get I am that way. Sometimes it kind of may slow me down a little bit, but I just have to get it so so how I want it. 
All right, so now I can put these three on here. Wow, that's kind of low, huh? Don't make me much room to decorate. That's okay. Put these back in. Go back through the hole. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and secure this one with the brad. And we are going to decorate, but I'm just getting these just so I can get the overall look. Because, I, like I said, the prototype is in my head. It's all in my head. So, all right. We're going to do this last one. And do about the same, eyeball the same space. Get a need a one about here. Go in. Go to my center line, the eyelid in the center, you can do a little sound effects too if you want, find out where it goes in the middle, to the middle about here, where is that, make sure, okay, you want to down a little bit more. Over. It's just like the game of playing this. This to the just to do it just right is okay. I'm gonna look down the side of my eyelet hole puncher. I I mean eyelet puncher or hole puncher here. And there I go. So I'm going to put the brad in and I'm going to see what I'm looking at now and envision now what I may want to do to the front of some of these guys. Okay, so I'm obviously not putting in my belly band yet, but I have these, I have these three now on here. Those are cute. And then of course my belly band will be attached to both ends with some strong glue and I may even, uh, you can even, I'll maybe even reinforce the top with, with some twine, um, some trim or whatever, but I'll be able to stick things under here and I'll be able to have a writing space. So now that I know how this is gonna look on my page, I can either take these off or I can decorate them on, on here. And I'm gonna see how, I don't think it should be that difficult do on here. This one's a little bit lower than I wanted it, but that's okay. I am going to tighten these up a little bit so my pages are not just sliding. My little circles aren't just woo, coming out all over the place. So I'm just going to push it through and I'm going to hold it like this and I'm going to yes, okay. Do the same thing that one's pretty snug let's do this little guy now i need to decide if i want to stamp these or put a, maybe some washi stickers i have some washi stickers i've been dying to use and i may see how that goes all right so we have this now let's see if i need to adjust you a little bit more now we can decorate okay Move this out of the way. Oh, you know what I didn't do? <laughs> I didn't put the page, the pages behind this one. So let me do that real quick. I do not have a pause button on this thing. I may have a pause button, but I don't know where it, where exactly it is. So I'm just gonna kind of leave it going and do all this with you. I'm gonna find my hole and do that. There we go. And, oh yeah, while I'm here, I'm going to, I don't need this line anymore. And I, it was so faint that it, I'm just getting it off here. I just needed that for measurement purposes. But now I'm through with it, so I'm gonna erase that off. All right, put this last one back in. And do it snug. Okay, let's do it. Do it snug. There you go. 
And like I said before, you can um, ink around these, the ones that come out for more definition, but I'm doing video time purposes, okay. So, what do I wanna do to these? All right, washi stickers, come to me. Um, okay, so I don't have anything on the background of my page as far as pattern, and I do have just a light floral pattern in here. So I'm thinking naturey. So I'm thinking maybe some birds or something, but I don't really know how much room I'm going to have. So I may could trim some of these down, or I may go with something else. Let's see. Um, A lot of my washi stickers tend to be bigger than what is on these, so, hmm, I may, I could stamp them, I do have some pretty little flowers, some washi flowers, I think what I'll do is I may go with a bird in the center that kind of pulls out all of these colors let's see that are in here and I can always trim my sticker or I can do the edges that's pretty like I said I'm going on the fly a little bit here okay you know what I'm gonna do I'm going to attempt to round the corners on this sticker with a, with a 10 millimeter punch or the 10 millimeter one of this before I take it off the back and I'm gonna check it out, oops. I'm gonna check it out and see how it looks size-wise on the, on here now that I did like that, oh yes. Okay, I'm gonna outline it with a little bit of um, gathered twigs, distress ink, to give it a little bit more um, framed effect. I don't know what this says the sticker says, I think it has the name with the birds on here, but I, I can't see that. The sun is starting to go down a little bit now. I've been working all day. My store, so. Okay, and the, the, what I love about these washi stickers is that they're, um, you can see through them a little bit. I'm going to try it for center. So you can still see the background of your music through here. Oh, I love that. Okay, so we have, oh, I did that and you didn't even see it. Ugh. Okay, here we go. I love that. <laughs> All right, now, for simplest, or, or for our time purposes, I'm gonna just kind of go through these quickly and make a decision. Okay, we have birds. These little washi stickers are kind of small. And so I think they'll be really nice here and not take away too much. And I want to make a quick decision because I don't want to make this video forever in a day. So um, let's see, you know what? I think what I may do is just take this flower. I have no idea once I put it down, it's gonna to have to stay this way. I think I'm gonna put this this is they're so tiny. I think I'm gonna I'm going to try to take this yes this sticker. I got these on Amazon. I am not I could not tell you the name of them right now to save my life, honestly. Um but I I got I, uh, all of these watches. I think I'm gonna do make a little, this is going to kind of curve around my thing a little bit. There we go. And it's just small, I didn't ink it. And then I'm going to put a flower that will blend with this up here. I say I'm going to. I have nails and these things still are hard to get off. Get it, get it, get it. There we go. And I'm going to put this, I'm going to have to put it to the side a little bit because I put that a little bit lower than I wanted to. 
Oh, and I could have played around with that flower and put it somewhere else, but that's okay. I kind of want a little something here too. Let's see, I have this little leaf. So I may do this, put this little leaf, something about threes. It's like in art, it just is kind of a, a, a number, a good number to, to go in threes and fives and sevens for some things. I'm not sure why, but that's just what they say. And I just totally messed this leaf up. Okay, grab a different leaf. Find a different leaf and do it quickly. All right. What have I done now? I have... I've got something stuck on this guy, I think. Um, it just seems like, yeah, I have something stuck and I was don't think I can get it off without turning the sticker. Maybe I can. Okay, yes, I did, I think. Oh, how annoying. It's some something on my back of my finger. Um, with these washi stickers, sometimes you may want to put a little bit of glue on them to make sure that they stay, but in this case, I think it'll be okay. Okay, that's that works. There we go. Here are my little birdies. And now I want to go up here, and I think I might try to find something in this blue color to kind of balance everything out now. And I have some more of these stickers. Let's see if I can find any blue ones or anything close to blue. Possibly. Um, let's see. These are blue. There's a feather. There's this. Hmm. There's this little guy. These, I just would like something a little bit bigger. I have birds in the middle. That's green. That's kind of pretty. It's not, it has green and blue. The pressure of doing this on camera, like I said, I did not think of I did not plan this video out this time. Oh, hang on. Wait a minute. Oh, what a cute little birdie. And there's a butterfly. Ah, it's totally not planning any of this, but like this out ahead of time. But now I'm seeing these other things on here that are nature-like. And I have birds in the center. I have flowers down here. I wonder if I could put, that little bird is so cute though. I think I'm just gonna wing it and go with the butterfly up top to kind of balance my colors because I have the navy on the bottom and this has like a blue in it. So maybe put this here. Okay. Oh, I might've wanted to move it, but I don't think it'll be very forgiving. Okay, now. I may want to put something on the over these brads because I'm not really going to be taking them out. But I'm not sure what could maybe put. I could leave these, or I could put some ribbon on these, or some trim. Let's see what I have. Oh, here. I wonder if I could cut this little flower out and maybe glue him on top of the brad because I'm not going to be removing these brads and have a flower. This is neat. You can just take these little, this is just a piece of ribbon. I'm just going to take this out, this off of here. I'm just going to say ribbon, this little piece of can't see a little piece of this flower off of here, off of this scrap of trim that I have. And I'm gonna cut off of that scrap. I'm gonna cut another scrap off of it and I'm gonna try to see how that would look. 
I'm, it's so, I get so carried away with these things, with these, when I start using up like little scraps and stuff. I wonder how that, that's kind of cute. Okay, that's cute. That's a little much. Okay, I'm gonna do it up here. I'm winging it. Like I said, remember what did I say at the beginning of this video? It is wing it. We're gonna wing it, wing it. We're gonna play wing it. That is exactly what we're gonna do. So now I'm gonna take my Fabrifix. It's fabric to paper, fabric to fabric, paper to paper, and now it's gonna be leftover trim to brad. Okay. I said you worked, so don't make me out to be a liar. Okay, let me get more on there. I think I just didn't put enough. I always add glue, but you can't take it away. Okay. I'm not really trying to cover up my brad, but kind of putting something else up there. Kind of over that, kind of made it take away. Okay, I don't know how much I like that, but I've already done it, so I'm in it. Maybe take a little piece of, I, like I said, I'm doing this for, wrong scissors. I'm doing this for just the sake of using up these scraps, but I'm also just doing this on the fly. Okay, I'm gonna take this out. Let's see, let's see how this looks. If I put a little piece of trim here, I think if I had a little piece of colored, maybe black trim, that would really make it pop. But I don't think I have any black trim. Well, maybe, let's see. I have some organza ribbon trim. Let's see. I don't know how weird that would look though. I wonder if I, hmm. I'm, I'm trying not to overdo it here, but I tend to feel like that's what I'm trying to do. I don't know, I have some organza fabric or ribbon left over. Just something about black sometimes just makes things pop. Okay, I'm gonna try it, okay. Um, the, organ the organza ribbon, and this is kind of um, thin, so I'm just going to try to stick it through here. Like I said, I'm decorating on the fly. Okay. I may hate this. I may like it. Okay. So I'm going to try to stick this back through. And all of my little papers decided that they wanted to fall all over the place. So I'm going to have to stick these back on one at a time. See, if I wasn't on, wasn't rushed, like, on camera to get, oh, it's covering my bird. Don't cover my bird. Maybe I can work with it. When I'm on camera, I don't have as much time to think about these things. And like I said, the prototype was in my head. Yes, it was. And I was dying to get started. Okay, let's see. How is that? Uh, maybe a bit much. Sweet. Kind of play around with it there a little bit. All right, I'm not quite sure how that goes, but if I don't like it, I can take it off. That's the thing, you can remove it. And last but not least, I have this down here, and I may need to put something up on the top up here to do this may be a little bit too much but like I said for time's sake I'm going to leave it I can take it off later if I want and play with it some more okay and then I have this last one here and I may just leave it alone or I may get out my I put it a little bit further down than I wanted to but I can't go back and redo that now so let's see I have a little flower up here and it needs a balance so I'm probably gonna pull out my my um, fabric fix I mean not my fabric fix my um, liquid pearls to put some balance on that top one but let me finish this first what am I gonna do what am I gonna do 
Okay, I have this and I've done a, a little thingy up there off of trim. I've done the organza and another little bit of trim down here and I don't want to be just too matchy, but I kind of wanted to do something and I'm just kind of seeing what I have. I mean, do I don't have to put anything up here, but I kind of want to put something to kind of balance it. I wonder if I were to, you're probably going, no, on the other end of here, but end of the camera, but we're just going to try it. Like I said, I'm doing this on the fly. I may just put that a little above here and just kind of let that have like a, a little bit. Of, that's kind of tacky. Is that tacky? Are you going to answer me up there? Yes, it's tacky. Okay, I'm going to do it just because I don't I'm not thinking about this and I want to put something down and finish this because we are almost at a half an hour again and I want to complete this. I have been dragging this out. Okay, so I'm just going to put this a little bit above here and then maybe I can, I can use this and just hold it down and make it kind of arch. It's amazing what you can do with these little trim pieces. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and I am gonna do something to the sides of this, but I'm going to go ahead and put my belly band down. So I'm gonna take my Fabrifix glue and I'm gonna put a bead across the top. I'm gonna put a bead across the bottom, a little strand, I say, thin strand. And I'm gonna go ahead and affix this to my page. Uh, you may not be able to get all of this in here for you. I'm going to try. Okay, put this about to the center. And put this up here. Somewhere around in the center. And I'm not going to go trying to stick anything through here yet. I'm just going to let this make sure this is the way I want it. Kind of centered and everything. And I'm going to... Leave it alone. Now, I may want to put a little bow or something up here over the top of this. Let's kind of back you up a little bit. There. Over the top of this, I'm going to grab some fabric, uh, some liquid pearls. See what I have. I have navy colored liquid pearls. And I have these goldish ones. Let's, I think I'm just gonna go with these little copper ones. And I wanna do a little bit more to this guy here. So I think I'm gonna put some little droplets of, I'm gonna put one here in the center too. Uh, I think I'm gonna put some droplets of these around here. If I was looking in kind of coming in from the side here. That's not really straight. Okay. So, do maybe a little bit like that. Maybe I want to play with this a little bit. Maybe I want to put just, hmm, what do I want to do? Maybe I'll put um, three on the bottom here. Hmm, maybe I want to put do I want to put any more on the side? I'm not sure. I can put three across the bottom here just to add a little bit more to this one. Put this a little bit bigger. Let's see. So this one has liquid pearls on it. Okay, if you can see, kind of see that. Let's see. Liquid pearls. And then maybe at the end, um, I want to go and put some kind of little bow up here to cover to go across the top um, or I could put some more trim across the top you know all the way across the top or a piece of washi but let's see I think I have a minute or so left I may just cover that with some trim up there just to add something to the top of the page there I go doing stuff on the fly again and guess what 
all of my ribbon is over here. Yay! Okay. Um, grab a couple different things. Okay, let's see. Um, I have this one. I may just want to go the length of the belly band. I've already kind of, I think I have some of that there, so that may, I may want to take this out. Eh, okay. Or maybe I want to use something a little bit different. I have hundreds of different kinds of trim and I'm sitting here grabbing the same one to use on here. All right, maybe not. That's too heavy. Let's see, this is a little scrap, a scrap that I have. That's maybe a little too frilly, but it does have the, the, uh, the colors of all of these in here. Uh, possibility lay it there. What else do I have in my little scraps over here? My little scraps. I have this gold that with some blue that I have. Maybe that would be pretty across, or maybe if I don't want to do the whole thing, I could just do from here to here. Hmm. Okay, I've got to make up my mind very soon because I am running out of time on the video here. I just feel like I want to put something in the center here, but I don't need to be too centery. Sorry, Silk. Nope. Okay. Winding it up here. I hate being rushed. Stop rushing me. Well, I do have this little burlap. And I could just put a piece of little burlap across, maybe. Or should I just leave it? I may leave it and just see what comes later on. Or I may keep trying. Um, I don't know. So many decisions. I have so many different things I could do up here at the top, but I just don't want to put too much. This is like a little strong here, but I don't want to take it off right now because I have, I feel like I need more color up here. I need color for balance. Um, so I'm thinking maybe a little bit something more strong as my arm is all in your way. Or if that's just a little too much or maybe not I'm going to try it and then if it doesn't work um, I'm just that's it's kind of this stretchy a little bit so I'm gonna put the fiber fix actually down on here come on down and I left it on its side Okay, I'm just going to put it right here. Okay. It does pick up some of the colors that I have in... It picks up some of the colors that I already have in the... No. I don't know if I'm going to like that. I don't think so. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I may not leave that. I may put another ribbon. I don't like that. I may put it all the way across. Maybe if it went all the way across, that would be better. Or maybe I should just not put that there. I don't like that. Well, something's going to have to go there, though. Maybe just some more of this for now. Yeah, I'm just going to put this across for now and I can go back and change this out for something else.
but for time purposes, I'm going to do this. See, come on down. I'm going to put this on my page, put this over here. I've definitely got to cover up that glue spot now. And now I'm committed to put so putting something all the way across. So, let's see. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to work it a little ways up. And I have things centering here already in the center, so I don't have to really put anything up here to center. So I'm going to come in with my snippet scissors. I'm going to cut that in right there. And if I want to come back and put a little button or something up there, if I, if I so desire, I can. But for now, we have this. And we can stick other things behind it. Um, we'll, be, we'll be able to stick other things behind it to store um, other papers or whatever. And then we have all of these little things that come out that you can write on. And it's just like uh, more writing space for someone. These come out. And you have a belly band for storage. And I don't want to touch these too much because I don't want uh, to mess up my liquid pearls. But you get the idea because you saw me doing it. So here we go. We have a little belly band tower of circle notebooks that we've decorated and put in a junk journal page. Let me see if I can take this off. Yes. And here's what we have. We have this completed project and I may go back and, and add some more to the page stick some things behind it or whatever but for now we have our uh, belly band and circle notebook swivel out thingies there we go that's what you do when you are playing the game of wing it okay so have a great um, afternoon and happy crafting everybody please check out my Etsy store the creators attic if you are interested in any junk journal supplies, antique and vintage ephemera, and a lot more. I have lots of little different types of bundle kits. I have trim samplers. I have sticker mystery bags. Um, you name it, I have it on there for junk journals and other projects. So check out my store and please watch for my videos. If you want to see more, hit subscribe and you can see when I put out more videos. Thank you for watching this with me. Have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.